Hello everybody, welcome back. This is a very quick tip. I just reinstalled my computer and realized I was missing my Blender thumbnail so I can see what the actual project is. Let's show you how to do it. I don't know about Mac and Linux. If you do, comment below. So go into Blender, go to Edit and Preferences. Once you're over in Preferences, go to System and Make Default. If you go ahead and click on that, a file association will be registered. At that point, when you go back over into your file system, you'll actually see that you have a preview. And if we go ahead and click on any of these, the preview does come up in the preview window, but unfortunately doesn't get any larger, which is a shame, but you can control and scroll wheel up if you want to see these in much more detail. But wait, there's more. You can actually change how your thumbnails actually look. So what you need to do is make sure that whatever your camera is seeing is what your thumbnail is going to be. So in this case, I'm going to move my camera. I'm going to lift it up to something like that so we can see what's going on. And if I go ahead and save, it will update, which is brilliant. That means we can turn on a shaded mode. And there we go. We can see that it has updated. I have found it won't show your rendered view, which is a shame but it will show everything else. So if you wanted it to be a wireframe, you could do so, but that makes it really hard to see. I wouldn't advise doing that. One of my favorites to do is change it to solid shaded, make it a matte cap, give it a really bold color like this green here, something that's easily readable. I'm gonna turn off it being in X-ray mode and just save that. Boom, it's all updated, ready to go. And of course, if you want it to be a little bit larger, then why don't you zoom in and show off your model just that little bit more. Okay, that's just the tip and I'll see you next time.